Okay, today on Flash Game Watch, we're gonna be playing Dan Paladin's Dad and Me on the Newgrounds website. All right, let's let's stretch this out and uh, watch this beautiful little intro here. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna. Oh shit! All right, looks like we're gonna beat the shit out of these kids here. Um, yeah, and that's your dad apparently. He doesn't really do much though. He's from another game Tom Fulp uh, did a while ago, and uh, this is lagging a little bit. Don't know why. Anyways, here you go. Um, you're gonna start out and Omen Hands Park. You know, break this kid's castle, make him cry, and just run into him. Use the A and S key to attack. The A is like a weak jab, and the S is like the strong jab. And um, you basically mix them up, and you can do a bunch of different moves. When you're running um, and pressing A, you can tackle them, which doesn't do that much damage. And when you run and press S, you could do that uppercut thing you might have seen me do, where it looks like I'm retarded or something. I'll be doing a lot more in this fight right here. First boss, Wilbur. And there you go, there's the uppercut thing. Um, I mean, this once you get it down, and I've been playing this game off and on for years because it's just been so much fun. I played at school and stuff. And uh, it is definitely a lot of fun. Uh, like, there he goes, blowing up into those freaking kerosene containers over there. Um, looks like he's getting his ass kicked. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting my ass kicked. Kinda. Sorta. Sorta, kinda. Oh, gosh. Like, we're the police. We're the police. Like, come on. Come on. Like, have you ever seen just some guy with, like, blue skin and a skull mask just like running through the park beating the shit out of people have you I haven't I think the cops would probably detain him after a while crocodile okay so you're beating up Tommy and you're gonna get this guy off of this unicorn his name's Danny maybe that's a reference to Dan Paladin who knows that is like a Singe Industries logo or whatever that is on his on his shirt there we're gonna go we're gonna push this kid in the swings although he's gonna get hurt I don't know if these guys die or not, but they don't really appear back, so maybe they just like disappear forever. Maybe that's what happens in this game when you die. They just disappear forever. Alright, and we took care of Ronald, and he's kind of a pest because he's got this helmet thing, and he'll like run at you and like totally give you a bunch of health. So yeah, it's really smart to take care of him first if you're going to go play this game. <clears throat> you're going to take care of Chuck, and we can move on to the soccer field. Oof. Dang, they're, they're having a pretty good match over here. Oops, sorry guys. Oh, I was missing my punches there. Oh, one, score one for me. Score two for me. Oh, it's not counting it if you throw people into the goal. Jeesh. I wonder how they managed to build a thing that would only detect soccer balls. Hmm. Must have been hard. There you go. There's the score. Although oh, the scoreboard's on the wrong side, I think. It could be wrong, of course. Oh, Nate. Nope, score three for me. Score four for me. That might have been score five. Oh shit, I left the soccer ball behind. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's. How about we throw some Boy Scouts out into traffic, shall we? That, that sounds like a lot of fun to me. They need to sell me some popcorn, man. Have you ever had the Boy Scout popcorn? Like, it's actually delicious. Like, okay, there are no Girl Scout cookies, but the Boy Scout popcorn is boss. You should go order some right now. Just like. Eat some Boy Scout popcorn while you're beating the shit out of some Boy Scouts. In the game, I don't, I don't condone you actually doing something like that. Obviously, you have to be a pretty big idiot to go do that. Okay, there goes Winston, who was a black guy. Just saying, but that doesn't really sound like a very black name. Sorry for being racist, but it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry if you're black and your name's Winston. I don't mean to offend you. <clears throat> oh, look, James Bond here. He's got a little uh. A little dart gun. Well, kind of. It's got, like, the little sticky thing on there. How does that even hurt you? No, James Bond is dead. Like, you see, like, the bar over there, though? Like, by your name and your health? Like, is that his name? Or is that just the bar for the rage thing that they have? I mean, it seems kind of strange. I mean, I know that it's definitely the, the special move, like, thing. Or you go into this, like, obviously rage thing. So obviously that's it, but I wonder if that's his name, because it kind of looks like it'd be a name bar or two or something. I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm just stupid. <laughs> so if you haven't noticed already, these names, some of them are references. Like that one over there with the afro, the one that doesn't look like 
total shit is uh, his name is Afro Ninja, which is a guy on Newgrounds who also has his own site. I uh, actually play there from time to time, but I still prefer Newgrounds, honestly. This guy's name is Farter. Um, God knows why. Looks like we're going to knock him out. And we're going to try to beat up Afro Ninja. Because we're not very nice. Got a basketball to the ass, and now he's dead. Yeah! That was possibly the most unprofessional thing I've ever done. <sighs> My mom was yelling at me to do something. And I had to respond. And leave my game. But here we go. It looks like the... Oh, he had a ball. He had my ball. Which is actually a good way to take them off of their ATVs. Just throwing the ball at them. That's what I do. Oh, shit. Alright, we just threw his buddy at him. <laughs> and now he's the, the guy with the dreadlocks. No, not dreadlocks. Fucking cornrows. I'm not very good with hairstyle lingo here, but yeah, he just knocked his own buddy off of his bike and he blew up in flames. Beautiful. All right now that we're done with Dewey, we can go on to, uh, I don't know, Ben? That's a pretty uninteresting name, but we're going to beat him up anyways because he looked at us funny. So down with Ben, and then down with Edmund Herbert and Ben again, but most importantly down with Ben, and Ben's down now. Okay, shock, shock, shock is shocked that we shocked him with our fists. Uh, 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 and there's Simon. Uh, that's, that's a, that's a pretty, a pretty lame name if you ask me. Sorry, anybody named Simon. Didn't mean to offend you. Alright, Simon's almost dead, and then Herbert the pervert's almost dead here. Nice shirt, bro. And who's that over there? Isn't that Ill Will? His mom was not love him very much if she named him Ill Will. That's pretty sad. Alright, now on to the ninjas. And we're gonna knock this guy off of his ATV. There we go. And he just kicked me, or one of them did. These guys are pretty hard, but what I'd suggest doing is keep running away from them, and then run back at them, fist blazing with the uppercut move. I mean, yeah, it's kinda cheap, but the reason why I do that is because it's smart and it saves self. You're going to get your ass kicked if you don't do this uh, strategy here. I'm sure you could find a strategy of your own, but I have yet to find a strategy other than just being cheap to kill them efficiently. Because even right now, I'm getting my ass kicked. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. You have, you have There's people who play this game that are a lot better than I am out there. So, I don't know. But this is just to give you just the idea, and uh, that's basically all you really have to do is just keep a safe distance. Their kicks don't do that much health uh, damage to your health, but you just got to be smart fighting them, unlike what I'm doing right now, and just try to uppercut them the best way you can. Pretty much do the uppercut move. Run and press S, if you forgot. And uh, now we just got to take care of uh, these, little, these little pawns here. One guy is wearing his bike helmet, God knows why. Um, his name's Harold, and he's on the floor now. Prob possibly dead, possibly, I don't know, abducted by aliens or something. He's just not here anymore. There's a health pack, and we're on to the final boss, whose name is Sun's Chips. Maybe he made the chips, who knows, but he's a gangsta gangsta. And you just gotta maintain your distance. The biggest, biggest advice I could give you with this fight is do what I am doing on the screen. Pretty much just run away run back at him and uppercut again be kinda cheap and occasionally he'll make stupid mistakes like that where he just shot somebody they fell and they had triggered those kerosene tanks or pro propane tanks I should say that's probably more accurate but yeah pretty much you just gonna wanna maintain your distance away from him cause he can do some massive damage with his gun you never wanna be right in a straight pattern do <laughs> do what people tell you to do when you hear gunshots, run in an S formation or something close to that. Just don't run straight at him usually. Unless he's reloading or whatever. Um, or you're about to attack him like I'm doing right now. Um, he's actually pretty hard. I've only beat him on a, num a number of occasions. But now that I've figured out his pattern, it's, it's vaguely pretty easy, really. I mean, that move's kind of annoying there. That's like a special move thing, and that takes... 
a decent amount of damage too, but it um, really is easy to dodge if you just keep running, keep moving. That's again the best strategy is just to keep moving. Um, it's the best advice anyone could possibly give you fighting this guy. Um, we're almost done with him actually, we're almost done with this game. We're almost done with this game. How about in the comments section this time, you guys give me a, a Flash game. You guys have always loved that. I haven't reviewed yet. Not reviewed, but you know what I mean. Done a Flash game watch on and uh, send it to me. And I might consider doing it for my next one. How about that? Anyways, here you go. Sun's Chips is dead and you're going to go into your dad's car and the credits roll. Programming by Tom Fulp. Art and animation by Dan Paladin. Dust Ball does the music. Okay, so in all due fairness, when I said Dan Paladin did the game earlier, that's not true. These people did the game. Every single one of them. It's just different parts. So, yeah.